Cleavon uh, popped into today's webinar and had a question around how to make a chart display the top five. Now, uh, so I, we've mocked up an application to kind of look at how that might happen. On the left-hand side, you can see all the contacts and all the sales that have been a result of each one of these companies. And so this is what the default is. If you created a pie chart and said, well, show me all the sales, you'd have a whole bunch of detail. And underneath here, as you can see, there's many more of these. And if, if you open them up, they'd really be down here, right? So this is what he's trying to get away from. And he's just looking at saying, well, just can't you give me the top five? And so um, uh, this is what this example application has in mind. Now, here's the relationship um, here. We have uh, contacts that have sales, contacts of sales, you know, 100,000, 90,000, that kind of thing. And they roll back up to, and then the contact knows what their dollar volume is because we've got a summary field that goes back here for total sales. What we've had to do is to be able to roll these up. This is a single record called roll up and it's record ID one. And we brought this up so that we could take whatever the total is for each customer and roll that up and then roll it back down. Now, what we've got is a bunch of roll-ups. We'll say, I want to know what the total amount is, um, uh, what the maximum um, contact sale is. And it rolls up 100,000. Then I roll it back down as a lookup field, and that's where there's a hundred thousand. And uh, and if the field matches, that's the highest level. That'll be number one. And then we have another summary field which rolls up. I want to know the maximum total amount, where except for that first one. And then I did it for the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. And you could do it for as many numbers as you want. Let's take a look at the relationship between roll-up and um, the contacts. So we'll look at that relationship. And once again, there's only one record in the roll-up. But if I edit this, you can see that we've got a summary. So the very first one is, what is the max total amount? The way we did that was we went here and said, gee, I want to know the max total amount. Or I think in this one, it's just amount, wherever it is here. <laughs> yeah, total amount. The max total amount. Okay, this is the very first one. And I so I created this, and it was called max total amount. And I'm not going to recreate that one, but you got the idea. If I um, and I named it um, one, and so if I look at this, that's all it is. It's max, maximum of the total amount. And notice that there's no condition in the middle of this one, and that's that's okay. Let's go back to the uh, relationship once again. So the the most important thing is is that we brought it back down, so we have a value, and we can compare the the two. So we're going to also bring up the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. So um, I'm going to say, what is the max total amount? I'm editing this now. Uh, where the roll up of max number one is not in the picture. That eliminates the top contender and we're going to of the total amount value. So now we've got the second highest value coming up to the top. Of that relationship and let me go back into it so we so we so we actually see it and I think this visually is help more helpful to me um, so we've got called this one number two we roll down number two and then we say what is the max number of there and we'll just where it isn't number one it isn't number two which gives us the next value, which is three. And we, we're going to call it three. Um, and let's um, um, exit this. And let's go back in one more time. I'm going to go down to the, uh, the relationship where the fifth one is. Uh, because that's the one that eliminates all of the ones prece uh, that preceded it. So I'm saying I want to know the total amount 
meaning the maximum of this, but I don't want one, I don't want two, I don't want three or four. And so that leaves us the next. So you could see you could do this, you know, up to 10 if you want to do 20. It depends upon how many you want to want to do. So there's one other component of this. When I um, look at the, um, this is the single record, just so that you knew what what that uh, looked like. There's the single record up here. And these happen to be all the children because it's a, a representation of every record. Um, and uh, the way I did that was I went into the reference field down into the contacts and I just made it a formula. And I said the formula is the number one, which linked it up. So all the records are represented automatically. But Anyway, here's the 100, the 80,000, 60, 40,000, and 20, because I only did it for, for that many. Let's look at the contacts for a second. So in the contacts, uh, if I move over to the side, um, you can see the I'm bringing up the total amount that as it related to the, the record. This is the total amount. And then... That, that's very helpful to see because th this particular person had this amount in sales. So as it rolls up to that roll-up category, uh, you can see the, the options that are here. And eventually I needed to um, figure out what is the, how do I present this? And I'm using this formula numeric field. And I'm, I'm saying that um, if the roll-up maximum equals the total amount, then that's the first position. That's the highest number. If I look at the second one, that's the second number, the third and the fourth and the fifth, else be zero, right? So that that's, it. that's uh, the foundation of how we're going to figure out how to eliminate all the other ones. If the number is greater than zero, because we're only counting these, all others are going to be zero. If they're greater than zero, then be inside that report. So let's go take a look at the uh, report that we've got. And we've got the sales in the top five. And there's just five here. We'll customize it and look at the, uh, the filter. The filter is saying... I want to see where the top position, that's that formula numeric field, is greater than zero. Uh, so, and I mean, if you had 10, you, you, you would do 10. The, the way that this gets rolled up up here, and I neglected to, to show that, is that, let's go to that relationship. And a lot of people don't know you can do this, but um, roll up, have contacts. Notice the left has a record ID. How do I get every record to have a one in it? I mean, I could put a default value in and every time it creates it, it just adds and makes sure there's a one there. Uh, click, um, I go into this and you can see this is a numeric reference, which is what's expected, um, but it's a formula. And all I did was I took the regular lookup field, I clicked on change the type, and made it a formula numeric field and I put the number one in which links us up to that parent record so everything can get sucked up and passed down and we can figure out what the top five are. Anyway, we um, cover things like this in um, the office hours webinars that we hold each day and, and thanks to Cleavon for um, bringing this one forward. And uh, all are welcome Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. East Coast time. Have a great day. Thanks.